you have been following me on social media, you've probably seen some of the pictures I've been uploading about my fitness results. I've been losing a lot of body fat, building muscle, feeling good, looking good. And people have been asking me a lot of questions about my training regime, what I'm doing in the gym, what I'm eating, and how I'm getting these results. So I thought I would make a quick video and tell you guys my best tips for burning body fat, building muscle, and getting into great shape while still being effective and actually being more effective on the field. So I wanted to start on my Facebook page and if you're not following me on Facebook, just make sure you go and follow me on Facebook, type in Dylan Tubi, I'll be the first person to come up. Just follow me, I'm always posting uh, great articles, pictures, motivation, tips, links every single day. So make sure you're following me on Facebook. Let's go into my photos and these photos are actually from my Instagram account. They go directly to my Facebook page. Make sure you're following me on both. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Progressive Soccer, as you can see right there. Progressive Soccer, Progressive Soccer on Instagram. So this was the last photo I updated. This was from yesterday. And as you can see, I'm in pretty good condition here, feeling pretty ripped and good muscle definition. But let's see where I started at. Because about two months ago, I said I was going to post a update every single Friday to show you guys where I'm at and how I am improving. So let's take a look. This was the first picture I uploaded. And here I said I was 176. My goal was get, to get down to 170 pounds. And I said here my body fat percentage was 7.6. That's what my calculator said, but that is definitely incorrect because if you have a six pack, you're probably at about 10% body fat or lower. So here I'm probably around like, 13 maybe even 15 percent body fat so although my calculator gives me the wrong measurements it shows me if I'm moving in the right direction or not so this was the first week this was the next week here and in one week of good nutrition and training I was already down to 172.5 already feeling a little more muscle mass especially in my upper body and I haven't been showing the legs, but my legs definitely have been improving as well, getting more defined in my legs. This was the next week, down to 171.7. As you can see, looking a lot leaner in the stomach area, and my six pack starting to come through, good definition in the upper body. Next week was here, still struggling to get that six pack, but the obliques are coming through, muscles developing all over the body. And I said I actually gained one pound here. So if you're losing weight or gaining weight, it doesn't really matter. What matters the most is how you feel and how you think you look, because that number will vary. Remember, muscle weighs more than body fat, but you may have lots of body fat to lose. So if that number is going up on your scale, but you're saying, hey, I feel leaner, then don't worry about it too much. Just stick to the principles I'm about to share with you and you will lose body fat and you will gain muscle as you can see in these next pictures here. So here I am at 172 pounds and you can see the six pack starting to come through there. Definitely feel leaner, that V cut starting to come through. Shoulders a little wider, veins starting to come through a little bit. Next week here, I actually went up a pound. I went to 173 and I said I had a poor week of nutrition and exercise. I think I was really busy with business that week. But you can see kind of that six pack almost staying there, but still the muscles are still there. Next week, had a good week of training, definitely feeling leaner, looking a little more defined. Six pack almost, almost staying there, but you can see the muscles are bigger, especially in the arms, shoulders, chest veins coming through if you can start to see your veins coming through you definitely know your body fat percentage is getting lower into that 10 percent region here you can see good definition definitely headed in the right direction okay starting to get nice definition all over and like i said the veins are starting to come through v cut getting those cuts right there in the abs and the stomach area. And this was the last picture I uploaded. I had a really good week of nutrition and training. And as you can see, six pack finally almost there. <laughs> it's tough, it's tough to get that six pack and get it to stay guys. You gotta be disciplined with your nutrition and it takes time, like I'll talk about and give you these tips. But as you can see here, this is where I'm at. I posted this yesterday, I'm feeling good looking pretty good and like I said not only am I burning fat I'm getting leaner 
I'm building more muscle, but I feel better on the field. I feel more agile, I feel quicker, more explosive. I feel like I can run longer, but I also feel the strongest. So as I said in this picture, I, I beat my goal. My goal was 170 pounds, and right here I'm at 169.5. So success, I beat my goal, and I'm actually the lightest I've ever been since I was 18 years old. I've always been around like 175 but I decided I wanted to get leaner. I don't actually want to be huge and muscular. I want to be really small and lean, but have good strength and good muscle definition. And I said I'm the lightest I've ever been, but I probably have the most amount of muscle on my body I've ever had, and I feel the strongest I've ever been. So how did I achieve this, and how can you achieve similar results? I made a few tips here, and let's go through them quickly. So first of all, define your goals. What do you want to achieve? My goal is where I wanted to lose body fat, but I wanted to gain muscle and strength, as I said. I think this is should be the goal for all soccer players. You don't want to be huge, as I talked about in that video on protein. You don't want to be massive. You want to be small. You want to be lean. You want to be able to run. You want to be quick. But you do want to be strong. You do want to have muscle. You want to have strength so you don't get pushed off the ball. But also strength will help with your explosiveness, your acceleration, your speed. And like I said, protecting the ball, being strong on the ball. So very important. But don't don't uh, concern yourself with being the biggest guy, okay? It's okay if you're small and you're lean as long as you're strong and you are developing muscle. How do you achieve this though? So basically these things right here are going to help you achieve that. Number one, if you want to burn fat, you must consume fewer calories than your body burns. So you need to find your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate, and that is your metabolism. If you've ever heard someone say he's got a fast metabolism or he has a slow metabolism, that's what they're talking about, it's your BMR. So basically what that is, is how much or how many calories your body burns every single day naturally. So without going to the gym, without running, without doing anything to speed up or bring down your metabolism, your body burns a specific amount of calories based on a few things. And your body burns a different amount of calories than my body. So you need to find your BMR. How do you do that? Well, it's simple. You can go on to Google and just find a BMR calculator. So type in BMR and a bunch will come up. You can just use this first one here and you will put in your height. So I'm six foot one inches tall. I weigh 100. I did at the time weigh 175 pounds. I guess I'll have to bring that down. Let's just put 170. And my age, right now I'm 28 years old. I am a male. And you will get a rate here. So as you can see here, I burn 1,861 calories every single day. That's just doing nothing. If I just sat on the couch and didn't do anything, I would burn this much. Okay, so find out what your BMR is. Let's say my BMR is 1,861 or 62. In order for me to lose fat, to burn fat, I must consume fewer calories than this. So if I consume 1,861, 1, I can't say that for some reason. If I consume less than that, then I will burn fat. It's simple. You don't need to make it any more complicated than that. People are like, oh, you should eat these types of foods and, and this type of thing. The truth is you could eat junk food, but if you consume this many calories or fewer than this many calories, you would actually burn fat. Now the thing is, if you just ate cheeseburgers and chocolate, well, you could probably only eat like one cheeseburger, one chocolate bar, and one diet soda because it has that many calories in it. The great thing about real food is it has fewer calories but more nutrients. So yes, you could eat junk food. You could eat horrible food and still consume fewer calories than your BMR and you would lose weight, but you would feel horrible. Why? You wouldn't have enough energy. You would probably get very sick because you wouldn't be giving your body the nutrients it needs and you would just feel horrible. So don't do that. Eat good food because you'll be able to eat more food and you'll give your body the nutrients it needs. As far as macronutrients, you may have heard that term before, meet your macros or hit your macronutrients and your macronutrients are carbohydrates, protein, and fats. So I won't go into that today because that's more complex, but if you want, you can calculate those as well. 
on the very basic, simple terms, if you want to burn body fat, it's all about consuming fewer calories, okay? So if your BMR is this many calories, if you consume fewer calories than that, you will lose body fat. You will burn fat. Simple. If you consume more, you will gain fat. If I consume this, I will gain fat. If I consume less, less, I will burn fat. So don't make it any more difficult than it has to be. You will have to get an idea of how much you are consuming. So there are calculators, you can get applications on your phone or you can just simply calculate them by reading them and writing them in a notebook. And yeah, it sucks. Honestly, I don't calculate my calories every single day. I kind of estimate in my head where I think I'm at. So if you really want the best results, it's good to track. But this is the golden rule of burning fat and losing weight. If you know your BMR is this much, you have to consume fewer calories than that. If you do, you will lose fat, you will burn weight. Don't make it any more complicated than it has to be. So if you want to um, make it simple, don't drink calories. So if you're drinking juices, if you're drinking milk, if you're drinking soda, any drinks, these all contain calories. So don't think that just because it's a drink it doesn't, or a liquid, it doesn't have calories. All drinks have calories except for these basic ones like water, tea, and black coffee. So that's what I drink every single day, and they have zero calories, and I eat real food. And if you've seen some of my other videos on nutrition, just go to my channel, check out my nutrition videos. I'll show you exactly what I'm eating. Okay, so as far as Nutrition goes, if you want to build muscle, you need to ensure that you are consuming enough protein. Now, the general rule that's been going around forever is one gram of protein per one pound of body weight. So if I weigh 170 pounds, I need to consume 170 grams of protein. Now, personally, I'll be honest, I haven't been consuming that much protein. That's a lot of protein. And if you do, maybe I would be getting better results if I was. For me, I find it difficult to consume that much protein. So I have heard other people, and personally, I'm experiencing myself. I'm not consuming that one gram per one pound. I'm actually consuming less, probably around 0.7 or 0.75, and I am still building muscle. But make sure you're getting at least 0.7 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So if you weigh 170, you probably want to get like at least like 120 grams, something like that, of protein every day. Your body needs protein to build muscle. Now, how are you going to stimulate your muscles to grow? You need to be training for strength. So every time you're going to the gym, you're getting stronger. I'm only going to the gym three days a week. I'm going on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's all. I'm not in there every single day to get these great results. I'm just going three days a week, and when I go to the gym, I'm trying to lift for strength. I'm trying to become stronger each time. I'm trying to hit my personal best on these lifts for each time. Now, I'm not gonna go into specific lifts and give you my basic workout program. I'm actually going to create a program on getting the soccer body, becoming stronger and leaner, burning body fat at the same time. I'm gonna create a program and sell that in the future if you want to get that so keep your eyes open for that today i'm just giving you some great tips that you can take and act on right away for free so use this information if you want these results so yes i am lifting for strength i'm trying to become stronger with all my lifts what i've said in some of my other videos is what most people do is they go to the gym and they do their basic three sets of 10 reps and they do the same weight every single time they go they lift 20 pound bicep curls every single time they go. The problem with that is you're not getting any stronger. Yes, it's great you're going to the gym, you're being active, but you're not challenging your body to grow. Your body is doing what it's capable of doing. And because you're not challenging it, you're not expecting more of it, or you're not asking more of it, it will never grow. Your muscles won't grow. The stronger you become, the bigger your muscles will get if you are giving it proper amounts of protein. So yes, I am lifting for strength. I'm always trying to get stronger with every exercise I do, but form comes first. I don't want you to go in the gym and just try to lift 200 pounds above your head and you can't do it with good form. So if you wanna do a warm up set, I also do a warm up set and I will do a low weight 
lower weight and just get the good form, okay? Then I'll try to estimate, or based on what I did last week, I will say, okay, what's the heaviest weight I can lift with good form and get about six repetitions? I aim for six on that first set. I may not hit it. Sometimes I might get four reps, sometimes I might get five because I'm challenging myself. And if I know that, the next week I will do the same weight and try to get that six reps. But I'm always trying to get stronger. So my first working set will be six reps. My second working set will be eight reps at a lower weight. So let's say I did 40 pounds shoulder press, something like that, or last week I did like 55 pounds on shoulder press, uh, single dumbbells, so 55 in each hand and I was doing six reps. The second set, I would use a lower weight, like 45 pounds and go for eight reps. The third set, I would do a lower weight, let's say 40 pounds and go for 10 reps. Okay, so I'm trying to do my heaviest set first, become as strong as possible and lift for heavy weights. I don't want to do 20 reps. I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm, I'm working for strength. And I promise you, if you become stronger and you're getting enough protein in your body, you will build muscle, okay? so. Follow this format here. Become stronger with all your lifts. Don't do the same thing every time you go to the gym. You should be lifting more every time you go to the gym as long as you're doing it with good form. Challenge yourself, challenge yourself. I only do about three to four exercises. And basically what I've been doing is I've been doing, this is what I've been doing, I'll tell you guys. Every time I go, I do legs but I only do one exercise of legs. My legs are getting more defined and bigger and stronger. Um, so if you guys want, you can follow this format. This is what I've been doing. So I'll go and I do abs. I don't do crunches. If you guys want your abs to be defined, it's not about doing crunches and ab exercises. It's just about having a low body fat percentage. Right now you have abs, but the reason they're not showing is because your body fat percentage isn't low enough. So if you follow this advice here, consuming less, burning fat every single day, eventually your abs will show. So each day, like I said, I do my legs. I go, I start with the abs. And again, I'm not gonna give you the exercises, the basic breakdown. Then I'll do one leg exercise. Again, lifting for strength, becoming stronger. And then I'll do my focus of the day. So Monday I do chest. Wednesday I do back and biceps. Three, or Friday I do shoulders and triceps. And again, I'm only doing about four exercises in total. One of them being legs. I'm not counting the abs in there. And then I'll do like three exercises of these. Three exercises of these, three exercises of these. So that's what I've been following. Finally, I've got to end with here, be consistent. Most of you will listen to this advice and you'll give up in the first week or the second week. Don't be that person. If you want results, you have to be consistent. Consistent with your nutrition, obviously, if I can get a bracket, and with your training, okay? Most people, like I said, will fall off. They'll say, oh yeah, this is great advice, I'm gonna follow this, and then they won't stick with it. Follow this advice, be consistent with your nutrition, be consistent with your training, you will get results. It will take time. Some days you'll look in the mirror and be like, ah, I don't feel any bigger, I'm not getting the results. Just stick with it. I promise if you stick with it, you will get great results. Weigh yourself every morning. So every morning I step on the scale and see where I'm at. This gives me a good indication of how I'm doing with my nutrition and if I'm going in the right direction. So those are my tips. Like I said, I'm gonna create a in-depth program on this in the future and I will sell it to the public. So if you want that, there'll be more about that coming. That probably won't be for a few months. I still have a lot to achieve with my fitness goals as well and I'm still learning a lot. But these are my best tips for getting the results that I've achieved. And if you wanna achieve these things, just follow this advice. Define your goals, what do you wanna achieve? Consume fewer calories than you burn, especially if you wanna lose body fat, get that six pack coming through. Consume enough protein to build muscle. Remember, at least 0.7. If you wanna go for that one to one ratio, you might get better results. I may, I may have gotten better results if I was doing that. Train three times a week for strength. Hit your personal best, become stronger each time on that three set, one warm up set, and then three, strat, three sets, six, eight, 10 is my rep ranges so important be consistent do not give up stick with this for the long run this isn't a quick fix you're not going to get quick results there's no shortcuts here yes these these tips and being consistent with these will get you better results 
but you gotta stick with this for the long run. Slow progress is better than no progress. And weighing yourself every morning, tracking your progress, will give you a good indication of if you're moving in the right direction. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know I've been talking a long time, but I hope you got some great information here and stuff you can act on. Please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, please comment below. If you have any questions on this topic, comment below. I'll do my best to answer those. Please share this video with your friends and teammates and please support me on Patreon if you appreciate my videos. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.